evening and welcome to the Evening of Excellence Ceremony presented by Gaston County Schools and sponsored by Wells Fargo Bank. I am Todd Hagens and I appreciate the opportunity to serve as tonight's uh, MC for the event which honors our outstanding educators. Tonight we will present the most prestigious awards given by Gaston County Schools when we announce our teacher, principal, assistant principal, and central office administrator of the year for 2018-2019. To begin tonight's program, Mr. Anthony Ballard from Wells Fargo will offer our official welcome, followed by remarks from Mr. Kevin Collier, chairman of the Gaston County Board of Education, and our superintendent of schools, Mr. W. Jeffrey Booker. At this time, please welcome Mr. Ballard. Well, hello everyone. How are you doing? Come on, you a little more lively than that. How are you doing? Good. Well, well, I'm Anthony Ballard. I'm with Wells Fargo Bank, and it's my pleasure to be here to speak on behalf of the bank. Um, thank you for everyone who was involved making this night um, successful. So let's do a round, of a round of applause for everyone. And so I also saw Bobby Kavanaugh running, a local celebrity, right? Where's Bobby at tonight? There he is. So congratulations on winning the National Teacher of the Year. So I want to start off with, as educators, you guys use, I mean, everyone uses a variety of resources to help educate your students. You serve as a guide for them, right? Educators, you serve as a key for students. You open doors to places that may have never been imagined until the students have walked in the school. As educators, you provide the knowledge for students to be successful, and you are the key to their success. This is why you are here tonight. I look back at the educators who made a difference in my life, and I'm truly thankful for them. And that's why I'm truly thankful for everyone in this room this evening. So remember this, the next time you hold a key in your hand, whether it be your car key, your house key, or the key to your classroom, be sure to remember that you are the key for your students because education is the key to knowledge and knowledge is the key to success. And without our educators, we wouldn't, none of us would be here tonight without you. So thank you very much. This is the evening of excellence. Your hard work, dedication, and passion for what you do day in and day out is the reason why you have been recognized as the best of the best. So on behalf of Wells Fargo, thank you so much for allowing us to host tonight's event. Congratulations to everyone, and thank you. Good evening. I am Kevin Collier, Chairman of the Board of Education, and it is a pleasure to be up here tonight to welcome everyone here for this evening of excellence. I know that we're looking forward to a dinner, so I'll try to keep my comments very brief. Tonight we are honoring the, the outstanding employees of Gaston County Schools. This occasion is all about you, our education professionals who exemplify excellence. The Board of Education is extremely proud of what you do for our schools. You go the extra mile every day to make a difference and we extend our sincere appreciation for each of you and your commitment to Gaston County Schools. We'd like to express our gratitude to Wells Fargo for sponsoring this great ceremony again this year. Wells Fargo is one of our most important business partners and it's reassuring to know that we can count on Wells Fargo to make this program special each and every year. To each of the honorees this evening, the board joins me in saying congratulations. You are the best of the best in Gaston County Schools and we are proud of your professional achievements. Once again, thank you for being here and I hope that you enjoy the evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to tell you something. There's got to be more energy than this room. We have a lot of things to be excited about. Good evening. Good evening. So why do we do this evening this week of the year? Who can tell me? 
Teacher Appreciation Week. So it's by intention that we have this big celebration this week. And it is a fortunate thing that we get to have this. Wells Fargo, you're going to hear it about 50 times tonight. We appreciate your support of us. So we are appreciative very much that you walk with us and you reach out and say, we want this event to be special. Don't cut a corner, make it special because we value these people and we appreciate that. And I would ask everyone in this room to please recognize Wells Fargo. <laughs> Tonight's theme is excellence. And if you spend time thinking about excellence, there's some words that I always think about. The quality of being outstanding. Offering your personal best, but also your collective best by being part of an organization. And excellence is something that means I have high expectations of myself, of my coworkers, and of my team. I believe in setting goals, not just goals that I can easily attain, but goals that make me reach, goals that make me pull people with me. That's excellence. But most of all, I understand working hard is a part of excellence. I could continue to talk about excellence because in this room, when you look to your left, when you look to your right, you will see excellence. Take a moment to reach to your right and left and say, thank you for being excellent. To all, my, to all my fellow groom, I will remind you that this weekend is Mother's Day weekend, so you might want to mix in that if you're sitting next to your spouse. Um, but when we talk about excellence in Gaston County, let's just do a recap of this year. Anybody heard about a National Blue Ribbon School? Yeah, you can clap for this stuff. It was already mentioned, anybody heard about a National Teacher of the Year? How about a Milk and Education of the Year award winner, the only one in North Carolina? How about not one, but two students going to the International Science Fair? How about we already knew we'd won the state championship in moot court because we knew we had the two people competing for it from the same high school. <laughs> we continued our excellence because we have another UNC Moorhead Kane Scholar this year. If I started talking about our state champions in athletics, I'd spend too much time, but we have a bunch of those. But I think the most significant thing right now for us to celebrate is what happened two days ago. Everybody in this room worked and talked to people, asked, what can I do to make people understand why this is important? And our school bonds didn't just win, they won by a significant margin. 69% of them said, I believe in public education and the 250 million, the largest amount anyone's ever asked for in this county, deserves our support. And if you're like me and have lived in Gaston County for 30 years, you know getting a tax on anything is a miracle. And we passed that, 5248. And it's you folks in this room that told people, I am worth investing in. But more importantly, you told them 32,000 children are worth investing in. So thank you for all the work for that to occur. And we will see great returns on that. So all these things are the epitome of excellence. But we know as we head into next school year, which will be our what school year? 50th. Our 50th anniversary. That excellence will need to continue. We will continue to have a lot to celebrate because of each person in this room. And because of your efforts, you will make sure that we continue to do everything with excellence. Before Mr. Clinton comes forward to do our invocation, I want to say again, Wells Fargo knows about excellence. 
y'all find this shocking, but I'm a former employee of Wells Fargo. 1986. <laughs> yeah, they used to call me a legacy one. That's what they called. But you have excellence. I remember being an employee and you had professional shoppers that would come into our offices and say, how are we treating our customers? And there were six things that we had to do. Well, you have a room full of people that believe in customer service, but bigger than that, they get the service piece of it. So you are our honored guest and our host, but recognize these people get service. So I want to share one final thought about excellence. Excellence is never an accident. It is the result of high intention, sincere effort, intelligent dedication, skillful execution, but most important, the vision to see obstacles as opportunities. Thank you for inspiring people to be lifelong learners. At this time, it is a pleasure to recognize the Gaston County Teacher of the Year for 2017-2018 from Stuart W. Kramer High School. Please welcome Mindy Mamano. Good evening. Last May, as I sat in this very room, I was both excited and humbled. Being nominated Teacher of the Year is an honor in its own right, particularly in a county filled with such talent and passion as Gaston County. I want to utilize this time right now to sincerely thank and to sincerely thank the faculty and staff of Stuart Kramer High School for that initial nomination. It was your vote of confidence that started this amazing journey for me, and I will forever be thankful for that chance. Furthermore, to the committee who had the faith in me to represent our county and our district, a heartfelt thank, thank you to you as well. I've continued to rely on some of you throughout this year of professional growth. And for your encouragement and support, I would be remiss if I did not recognize you personally. Rebecca Huffstetler and Beth Crosby, this year was made substantially more rewarding and more meaningful because of your advice shared with me about your own journeys and your own experiences. So I wanna thank you and to Wells Fargo, our gracious corporate sponsor. Your generous grant allowed me to purchase much needed resources for my AP classroom, as well as a six year subscription to an interactive history program that will allow me to further bring history alive in the classroom for many students to come for many years. Both of these purchases demand our 21st century students to incorporate those skills required of them that to compete in our ever-changing world. Your gift has enabled me to challenge and grow our leaders of tomorrow, so I thank you. Last May, as my name was called, my journey began. A journey of reflection and growth. I've repeatedly been asked throughout this year, so tell me, why do you teach? It's funny, at this point I've taught for 19 years, and you would think I'd know that answer off, off the cuff, but no one had ever asked me before why I teach. I just knew, and what I often said was I was born to teach. This is where I'm supposed to be. All my childhood heroes were teachers. So when I started this journey, I needed more. So I began to reflect. And that's when I came up with what has been true my whole career, which is teaching has always given me hope. Last May, that hope stemmed from where it always had, the students that I spend the majority of my day with. These students see the world through a different lens, an optimistic view full of possibilities. They're not jaded by life yet, their glasses are perpetually half full, and they tend to see the good in both people and circumstances. And I teach teenagers, and they really do believe in hope. But this year, because of this opportunity, I've been given the chance to step outside the classroom and collaborate with others in this profession. And it has multiplied that hope. This journey has afforded me the opportunity to talk with teachers across, across this county, teachers who share that hope and teachers who contribute to that hope. I've learned from teachers far superior to me. I've been inspired by teachers with far less experience than I have. And I've stolen ideas from teachers who I probably need to go back and thank. The takeaway that I've gained this year is overwhelmingly this. Gaston County Schools is doing state-of-the-art things. To be in the company of such greatness is an honor. Teachers in our schools implement new strategies and hone the tried and true techniques we've known for years to meet the students where they are and take them to the next level. Administrators have students participating in CR code scavenger hunts to generate excitement about attending new schools. 
We have students heading up anti-bully clubs because they see the need. We have students who spend their downtime helping with Special Olympics, and students across the county creating buddy clubs to sit with students who don't have built-in friends. We have STEAM schools and CTA, CTE certifications that allow our students to choose their futures in ways that my generation never had access to. Our schools look much different than they did even five years ago because our school leaders and our teachers are passionate about being innovative and purposeful. I'm proud to send my two sons to Gaston County Schools and I'm excited about the opportunities they have before them on their own academic journeys. It is in this role this year that my hope has somehow strengthened. I'm beyond thankful to have been given opportunities to witness teachers who share in that same hope for our future, who are as optimistic as their students are in that future, and who devote their days to shaping that future. To my fellow teachers, thank you for what you do for our children every day. I couldn't be who I am without the phenomenal teachers I'm surrounded by. And my current 11th graders couldn't be who they are without the incredible foundation each of you have given them to grow upon. Last May, I could have never imagined what this year would be like. It is a year that has moved me forward as an educator and one in which I will forever be thankful for and profoundly grateful. And just because my year as Gaston County Schools Teacher of the Year is over does not mean that I've finished my journey. I'm still learning in this county of ours. Thank you. Now I have the opportunity to recognize uh, several special guests that are with us as well as the committees that were uh, chosen to select our winners uh, for this evening. Um, I will announce uh, our special guest and if you're in the room please stand to be recognized. Beth Zuber, uh, Gaston County Teacher of the Year in 2008 and was a finalist for Southwest Regional Teacher of the Year. Beth's over at the corner. And Beth, thank you for all of your work with this event. He doesn't really need an introduction, but Bobby Kavnar from South Point High School. Bobby won the NEA Foundation's award, National Award for Teaching Excellence in February. The National Award for Bobby Kavnar. <laughs> Beth Crosby is with us. She was our Gaston County Teacher of the Year in 2016. There's Beth. And we just heard from Mindy Mamano, our Teacher of the Year last year. Thank you for those remarks, Mindy. We have several former principals of the year with us. When I call your name, please stand. Cindy Hester, 2006. Audrey Devine, 2009. James Montgomery, 2011. Corbin Ross, 2012. Terry Ussery, 2013. Rebecca Duncan, 2014. Joey Clinton, 2015. Rebecca Huffstetler, 2016. and Phyllis Whitworth, 2017. Did I overlook any of our principals of the year? Thank you all for being with us. Now, the selection committees, and if you will, please stand, uh, we'll recognize each committee. For the Teacher of the Year Selection Committee, those members are Beth Crosby, Brian Denton, Donna Hayes, DJ Hamrick, Mindy Mamato, and Phyllis Whitworth. For the Principal of the Year, that selection committee, Joey Clinton, Todd Hagens, Donna Kelly, Mindy Mamano, Valerie Yatko, and Phyllis Whitworth. <laughs> For Assistant Principal of the Year, the selection committee, Donna Kelly, Mindy Mamano, Valerie Yatko, and Phyllis Whitworth. And then the Central Office Administrator of the Year Selection Committee, Donna Kelly, Mindy Mamano, Valerie Yatko, and Phyllis Whitworth. And some of those names on there, you all were very busy making our selections this, for this evening. 
We are now ready to recognize our Area Employees of the Year, and I'm going to ask that Mr. Collier and Mr. Booker please join us here for the uh, presentation of those awards. And when I uh, recognize uh, each of these employees, if you will come forward to accept your award um, from Mr. Booker and Mr. Collier. First, we have the Gaston County Schools School Counselor of the Year. He is Matthew Chapman from the Highland School of Technology. Next, we have our Library Media Coordinator of the Year for Gaston County Schools. She is Linda Cathcart from Belmont Middle School. <laughs> our Gaston County Schools Social Worker of the Year is Amon Sultan who serves Highland School of Technology and Carr Elementary School. Our School Psychologist of the Year is Jill Pratt. Jill serves many of our schools and many of our students from her home location at the Department for Exceptional Children. And our School Nurse of the Year is Missy Foley. Missy serves students at Stuart W. Kramer High School, Hawks Nest Steam Academy, and McCadville Elementary School. Congratulations to our Area Employees of the Year. And at this time, it is a pleasure to recognize Donna Kelly, our Gaston County Assistant Principal of the Year for 2017-2018. And Donna now serves as the principal at Rankin Elementary School. She will come forward to introduce the finalist for Gaston County School's Assistant Principal of the Year. Thank you. I am honored to uh, introduce our finalist. So first up is Todd Goff, Assistant Principal at Belmont Middle. And Todd, if you'll come on up. Uh, Mr. Goff focuses on developing positive relationships with the school community to help Belmont Middle School continue to achieve academic success. He supports teachers sharing instructional ideas through the implementation of Google Classroom while encouraging them to analyze data in order to meet the needs of individual students to move them forward. Congratulations, Todd Goff, Assistant Principal at Belmont Middle School. Next is Megan Lefevers, Assistant Principal at Bessemer City High School. Ms. Lefevers challenges first year administrators to find your joy. Hers is working with students in the Exceptional Children's Program. Ms. Lefevers works tirelessly to ensure all students at Bessemer City High School are recognized for their accomplishments. She works with teachers and students to create personalized goals to help boost self-confidence. By making goals individualized, Ms. Lefevers believes is how maximum growth is obtained. Congratulations, Megan Lefevers, Assistant Principal, Bessemer City High School. Next, we have Adair McKay, Assistant Principal, Kramer to Middle School. At Cramerton Middle School, passive engagement of students is no longer due to the efforts of Ms. McKay. She has encouraged teacher leaders in small group instruction to model for others. Coupled with coaching, encouragement, and feedback, Ms. McKay is proud to say productive noise is now heard in classrooms. Students have become actively engaged in their own learning. Congratulations, Adair McKay, Assistant Principal at Cramerton Middle School. Siobhan O'Brien, Assistant Principal at Mount Holly Middle School. <laughs> Mr. 
Ms. O'Brien works hand in hand with the principal of Mount Holly Middle School, supporting the mission and vision of the school and the district. She believes it is necessary for stakeholders to understand why policies and procedures are in place. Ms. O'Brien helps teachers and students discover interventions, such as lunch and learn sessions, to promote a positive, effective learning environments for all students. Congratulations, Siobhan O'Brien, Assistant Principal, Mount Holly Middle School. Matt Reichert, Assistant Principal, Cramerton Middle School. Mr. Reichert believes it is necessary to be proactive instead of reactive when communicating with teachers, students, and parents. In order for teachers to be successful at Cramerton Middle School, he is aware that expectations should be shared continuously and the necessary tools need to be provided. Mr. Reichert's focus is always on the end result, student achievement. Congratulations, Matt Reichert, Assistant Principal, Cramerton Middle School. Lynn Stamey, Assistant Principal, Robinson Elementary School. Ms. Stamey knows student interaction while building relationships is the key to getting them to excel. The focus at Robinson Elementary is to grow all students to their highest potential. She offers creative solutions to help them get there. Ms. Stamey is a data cheerleader as she assists teachers in dissecting the numbers to create equitable learning opportunities for all students. Congratulations, Lynn Stamey, Assistant Principal, Robinson Elementary School. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Our 2017-18 Assistant Principal of the Year, Ms. Megan Lefevers. This year has been quite a journey for myself, but I would also be a mess, like Ms. Um, Amana mentioned earlier, without thanking some people in this audience who have been my mentors. My, my mom is the first one who taught here and, and retired from Gaston County Schools, so I had to follow suit. Um, and then Mr. Montgomery and Dr. Moore, who have been the best principals I could ever have worked for. Um, I would like to thank my teachers. Ms. Fink is here as our teacher of the year. We used to share a wall. It was fantastic. And also the Department for Exceptional Children, because they helped me explore ways to make my passion come to life, as well as, as do the assistant principal daily work. So thank you so much, and I look forward to what this brings. And I will take a moment to brag on Megan. Uh, because Mr. Booker mentioned earlier about a Milken Educator Award winner. Um, back in November, Megan was named the North Carolina Secondary Assistant Principal of the Year, so she got a state award. And then in December, she was surprised to receive the Milken Educator Award for North Carolina, the only educator in North Carolina selected for that award, so she got a national award. And then tonight, you get a local award, and we hope that local award you will treasure, and it, we hope it means a lot to you, because it's well-deserved. Congratulations to you. Reverse order, but it's okay, as long as you get those awards, that's right. Now we're ready to present the finalist for Gaston County Schools Central Office Administrator of the Year. And it is a pleasure to welcome Valerie Yatko uh, for those introductions and the presentation of those um, awards. And I have to say, from the greatest department in the school system, the Communications <laughs> Department. Please welcome Valerie. Good evening. Uh, and I would be remiss, I just want to take a moment and just thank everyone for the support that, uh, that I have received during this past year from administrators and schools, especially from my, my colleagues in, as Todd mentioned, the greatest department in the district, but thank you, Sean and Allison and Charlotte and Tom, and of course our, our chief 
Todd Hagens, who, uh, again, there's so much that's done behind the scenes. And uh, this department works very hard uh, to make us look good. And they are so professional and do things so well. So I just want to say a, a very heartfelt thank you. I'm honored to be here tonight to present the uh, Office Administrator, the candidates for Office Administrator of the Year. This is a unique category because, of course, we're all f think we're fairly familiar with what teachers do and assistant principals and principals, but the folks that make up the central office uh, administration staff often uh, have very many varied and uh, different tasks and talents. And the services they provide ensure that others have what they need to get the job done. So I'm honored this evening to introduce you to this year's nominees for Central Office Administrator of the Year. First is Mr. Brett Buchanan. <laughs> Brett is the Director of Career and Technical Education. Brett's vision is to see more opportunities for students and additional exposure to careers for our students and to see the CTE department possibly extend other opportunities for elementary school students. When asked about his greatest contribution to Gaston County Schools, he shared that it wasn't his contributions alone, but that of his team, who have assisted by supporting staff, moving the district forward in the number of CTE certifications issued, and achieving a 45% increase in the number of students taking CTE courses in our schools. Brett works hard to provide any support necessary to support our teachers and students and to help them be successful. Congratulations, Brett Buchanan, Director of Career and Technical Education. Next is Melissa Buchanan. <laughs> Melissa is the Title I Program Coordinator. She measures her success in her current position by always being available to assist principals and other staff members. She feels that by doing so, decisions are made with the best interest of our students in mind. When asked where she sees Gaston County Schools in the next 10 years, she mentioned increase of technology as a key component of collaborative student work. Melissa hopes to be remembered as a person who made a difference in the lives of children. One coworker says of Melissa, and I quote, her ability to bring a positive outcome to situations, even those that are unpleasant, is inspiring. Working with Melissa has been a highlight in my career. Her unwavering professionalism is a trait I aspire to reflect. Congratulations, Melissa Buchanan, Title I Program Coordinator. <laughs> Kathleen D'Avria. <laughs> Kathleen is the coordinator of the Gaston County Virtual Academy. Kathleen believes one of the greatest successes of this program is that we are able to, to reach students that we have not been able to serve before. She is especially proud of completing the first year of the Virtual Academy and hopes that in the future the Academy will be offered for all grades K through 12. Gaston County Schools is the first district to have a Virtual Academy at the middle school level and Kathleen enjoys being a part of the new innovative approach to learning and teaching. Congratulations, Kathleen D'Avria, Gaston County Schools Virtual Academy Coordinator. <laughs> Derek Jackson. <laughs> Derek is the Chief Accountability Officer for Gaston County Schools. Derek is a positive person who believes that tomorrow is always a new day. He's most proud of the support his department is able to provide schools in order to assist teachers with improving student outcomes. Using data to help understand student potential, Derek assists in putting plans in place to help all students be successful. He believes our district is one of the best as evidenced by the points of pride we received from our advanced ed visits results. 
Derek's message to all is, no matter where kids come from, they can succeed. We can become anything in life. Congratulations, Derek Jackson, Chief Accountability Officer. Carrie Minnick. Carrie is the Executive Director for the Department of Exceptional Children. Carrie feels that her greatest accomplishment is to be able to bring people together as a cohesive team. Carrie is inspired by one of Gaston County School's own educators, Ruth Angel. Carrie shared that Miss Angel prepared her to be a better educator and believed in her abilities. In her current position, the department she leaves leads serves more than 30% of the student population. In serving this department, she defines success as being able to help a teacher or a parent in some way and hopes that she will be known for making a difference. Congratulations, Carrie Minnick, Executive Director, Department of Exceptional Children. Curtis Poplin. <laughs> Curtis is the Network Systems Manager for Technology Support Services. He believes that professionalism is important in all aspects of the job and he strives to provide excellent service to our schools in a professional manner. During his day, Curtis makes multiple decisions that affect our district and protect our network and our students. He enjoys working with the members of his department, whom he describes as awesome, including his supervisor, Ms. Matson. Congratulations, Curtis Poplin, Network Systems Manager, Technology Support Services. And this year's Central Office Administrator of the Year, Carrie Minnick. so excited to be here tonight and really honored to be standing next to all of those nominated tonight as well as all of our central office crew. Um, it really is amazing to be a part of a really wonderful team of people that really work hard to serve children every day. Um, I love Gaston County Schools. I have been here for 24 years and been so happy with my career choice and the people that I have been living with day by day, side by side, working hard for our children. But I wouldn't be here today without a lot of people building me up and helping me along the way and serving beside me every day. Our Department for Exceptional Children is just amazing. I am in awe of the people that I get to work with and lead every day. And I'm very grateful for their support. I do you want to take a minute to thank Dr. Balt Knight? I am one little piece of the giant puzzle that she puts together every day, and yet she always finds time for whoever needs her, for whatever question you might have, and to challenge you to push a little farther. And I'm really grateful for that. And I'm really grateful to Mr. Booker as well for allowing me to be a part of his leadership team and to always, always encourage us to keep working a little bit harder to do what's right for children. So thank you. And now we're going to give away our third award. Phyllis, you're the principal at Belmont Central Elementary School, and you're going to introduce our finalist for Gaston County Principal of the Year for 2018-2019. Thank you very much. Good evening. It is with great honor and a privilege to announce the finalist for Gaston County Schools Principal of the Year for 2018-2019. Our first finalist 
is Brian Denton, principal of Cramerton Middle School. Mr. Denton implements small-scale changes to large impacts at Cramerton Middle School. Student-led conferences have increased parent engagement in the learning process. He focuses on improving the student experience as a whole, which positively affects achievement data. Mr. Denton encourages each student by writing personal statements on report cards every nine weeks. He asks teachers to be pioneers by exploring new ideas and implementing relevant instruction. Reflection is encouraged to determine where do we go from here. Mr. Denton believes we are doing a lot of good, but we can always do more. There is always room for improvement. Congratulations, Brian Denton, Principal, Cramerton Middle School. <laughs> Our next finalist, Laura Dixon, Principal, W.A. Best Elementary School. Ms. Dixon remembers what it is like to stand in front of students every day. She wants to inspire her teachers to be their very best. She works beside them, analyzing data in professional learning communities. Ms. Dixon feels this is necessary to let the teachers know she supports them. At Best Elementary, faculty and staff remind each other what our purpose is, to teach students. By breaking down the data, teachers are able to go back and review what is and what is not working in the classroom. Through collaborative environment created by Ms. Dixon, goals are revisited, tweaked, and constantly evolving based on the current needs of the students. Congratulations, Laura Dixon, Principal, W.A. Best Elementary. Kelly Howe, Principal, Webb Street School. <clears throat> Ms. Howe is committed to the individual success of each student. She challenges her faculty and staff to connect with the community and other Gaston County schools to bring awareness about the work happening at Webb Street. Support the families of students by building relationships and imagine what can be done for their students instead of focusing on their limitations. Ms. Howe works diligently to provide relevant learning experiences that occur in meaningful settings. She has been instrumental in revitalizing the greenhouse and garden where students grow plants and vegetables to sell to local patrons. The annual fashion show continues to grow under her leadership, allowing students to shine in designer clothing. This summer, Webb Street will break ground on the new inclusive accessible playground, which will be shared with the community. When it comes to student success, Ms. Howe encourages her staff to continuously think about the bigger picture, be globally aware, and always be reflective. Congratulations, Kelly Howe, Principal, Webb Street School. <laughs> Denise McLean, Principal, Highland School of Technology. Ms. McLean is excited to go to work each day. She is eager to work with students, is dedicated to her staff, and loves interacting with the community. It is important to her to make the school's vision, world-class school educating world-class students, meaningful to all stakeholders. Ms. McLean wants her teachers to feel supported so they will be successful in the classroom. She challenges her teachers and to attend professional development, 
specific to their individual needs. Ms. McLean encourages her teachers to set high expectations for students while customizing instruction to their specific needs. Congratulations, Denise McLean, Principal, Highland School of Technology. And last but not least, Loretta Reed, Principal, Greer Middle School. <laughs> Ms. Reed is data focused. She encourages her teachers to work closely in professional learning communities in order to set achievement goals for students. At Greer, faculty and staff are all about the hype, helping students grow. Ms. Reed says, in order to achieve a growth mindset, we must inspect what we must inspect what we expect. <laughs> she helps the teachers at Grill Middle dive deeper to determine why students are performing where they are, and together they reflect on strategies to accelerate learning. When visiting classrooms, Ms. Reed looks for engaged students working in collaborative groups. Congratulations, Loretta Reed, principal of Greer Middle School. And now to make the announcement of Gaston County Principal of the Year for 2018-2019 from Wells Fargo Bank, we welcome Ben Mears. Good evening. It's great to be with you all tonight. I'm very excited to be a part of this. I um, want to thank Pam and the Gastonia team for their commitment to this. It's very important to us to be involved in our communities, and they do a fantastic job, so thank you. I wanted to share with you that I am the son of elementary school educators. My father was a principal for over 40 years, and my mom was a teacher for 25 years, and she would have been a teacher for longer, but she had to raise 10 kids at home. So it's very humbling to see all of the commitment to everybody in this room for their sacrifices you make. I lived it growing up, so your pursuit of your passion is, is very inspiring. So thank you all for everything you do. Uh, this year's Wells Fargo Principal of the Year is truly dedicated to the education of all children. The principal can be described as a positive, nurturing supporter of teachers and students. This person is dedicated to public education, to the pursuit of a brighter tomorrow for learners, and to the knowledge that our students are the future of our community and society. The principal of the year is a consummate professional who strives for excellence with every endeavor, with the goal of being a role model for others to follow. This principal works diligently to better the school community by involving stakeholders and seeking ways to make relevant changes that positively impact students' achievement. This principle empowers teachers to learn and grow in the profession by encouraging them to seek ways to improve their craft and the lives of students on a daily basis. The principle of the year expects nothing less than the best when it comes to self, students, faculty, and staff. Wells Fargo is proud to present the 2018-19 Principal of the Year Award to a person who is admired by community leaders, colleagues, and administrators. Congratulations. Denise McLean, Gaston County Principal School. I could do this without any notes, <laughs> but I can't, so I will rely on my notes. Um, thank you, and I say first, good evening, and, and thank you for this honor. I'm grateful and deeply moved to be recognized tonight as Principal of the Year. To the selection committee, thank you for believing in me. This is an honor that I share with so many people in this room who've touched my life over the past 32 years of service. To Wells Fargo, Thank you for sponsoring our evening of excellence. The acknowledgement, the gifts, the venue, the delicious meal, they all set the stage for an outstanding evening. 
You are leaders in this community when it comes to supporting education. Thank you for investing in our school system. Gaston County Board of Education, Superintendent Jeffrey Booker, members of his cabinet, central office staff. Kind of sounds like a board presentation, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the trust that you have placed in me. The chance to serve the students, teachers, parents, and all the stakeholders of Highland School of Technology. I'm fortunate to be able to lead a national blue ribbon school. It is with your support that we are a world-class school educating world-class students. Tonight, I'm deeply humbled when I look at the caliber of my peers, I'm getting nervous here, to know how hard they work each and every day. It makes me prouder just to be, even be considered. Gaston County is fortunate to have such a talented group of smart, dedicated, and passionate school leaders. I've learned so much and grown so much in my role as a leader just by following you. Again, I'm honored just to serve with you. Thank you to my sister Veronica for being here with me. She represents my support system. I acknowledge my mother for her unwavering support and understanding what it means to be an educator. She served 42 years as a math teacher. Um, I appreciate the encouragement she gives me and for always talking me home on those Friday night games after Friday night football. So <laughs> I appreciate that. To my son Jay, thank you for letting me be mom and for sharing me with so many other students. I know it wasn't always easy being a PK, PK kid under my leadership and that's a principal's kid, not a preacher's kid. <laughs> I love you dearly. To Josh Allen, my assistant principal, who is an outstanding leader, my administrative team, my support staff, thank you for helping me lead. To my Highland family, our rock star teachers and awesome students. And if I may borrow the phrase from a great leader in this room, you are simply the best. Finally, I am blessed in so many ways to have the courage to push through so many difficult opportunities. Losing my husband, Jonathan, Five years ago, my mother said, are you sure you want to say this? And I said, sure I do. But um, losing him was hard, but finding so much joy and fulfillment as a servant leader and being a school principal, sorry, has helped to create a balance and fill a void for me. I'm forever grateful to serve principal with High School of Technology, Gaston County Schools, and its great community. Thank you. We're now ready to recognize the Teachers of the Year. Each Teacher of the Year from our 54 schools across Gaston County. Our Teachers of the Year will be introduced individually. Some of our teachers cannot be with us. Their principals will be accepting the award and you will accept your award this evening from Mr. Booker and Mr. Collier. We begin our recognition of Teachers of the Year with Ashbrook High School, Demather Cathy. From Beam Elementary School, Christine Ballard. From Belmont Central Elementary, Carmen Adams. From Beam Intermediate School, accepting for Laura Britton is Principal Chad Hovis. From Belmont Middle School, Elizabeth Bovey. From Bess Elementary School, Sue Bell. From Bessemer City Central Elementary, Whitney Leach. And accepting for Whitney is Caroline Black, the principal. From Bessemer City High School, Sarah Fink. From 
from Bessemer City Middle School, Danielle Downs. <laughs> Bessemer City Primary School, Katie Farmer. <laughs> accepting for Brookside Elementary School is the principal, Logan McGuire, accepting for Dara Presnell. From Carr Elementary School, Heather McCoy. <laughs> Catawba Heights Elementary, Melissa McGinnis. <laughs> Chapel Grove Elementary, Heather Mullinax. Chavis Middle School and accepting for Suzanne Jenkins is the assistant principal, DJ Hamrick. <laughs> Cherville Elementary School, Deborah Spangler. <laughs> From Cherville High School, Angela Long. <laughs> From Costner Elementary School, Kimberly. Pruitt. From Stuart W. Kramer High School, Becky LaRoe. From Cramerton Middle School, Melissa Harris. East Gaston High School, Justin Allison. Forest View High School, Travis Johnson. From W.C. Friday Middle School, Jennifer Bumgarner. From Gardner Park Elementary, Myla Huey. And representing for Maya, accepting for Myla is the principal, Jamie Wallace. From Gaston Early College High School, Kristen Miller. From Greer Middle School, Monica Morgan. From Hawks Nest Steam Academy, Taylor White. From the Highland School of Technology, Lori Collins. From Holbrook Middle School, Angela Russell. From Hunter Huss High School, Ethan Ledbetter. From Kaiser Elementary School, Hannah White. From Lingerfelt Elementary, Jennifer Lee. From Lowell Elementary, Matthew Jennings. From McCaddenville Elementary, Karen Coffey. From Mount Holly Middle School, Michael Nixon. From New Hope Elementary, Amy Stinnett. From North Belmont Elementary, Jamie Keller. From North Gaston High School, Deborah Litz. From Page Primary School, Sarah Maltzby. From Pinewood Elementary, Hannah O'Neill. From Pleasant Ridge Elementary School, Aristella Torres. From Rankin Elementary School, Stacy Spees. From Robinson Elementary School, Tammy Holland. From Sadler Elementary School, Jennifer Kendrick. From Sherwood Elementary School, Brianne Heaslip. From South Point High School, Carrie Bradley. From Southwest Middle School, Stephanie Crump. 
Springfield Elementary accepting for Melissa Chapel is the principal Emily Pogue. From Stanley Middle School, Jill Hendricks. From Tryon Elementary School, Ashley Lackey. From Warlick Academy, Karen Crowell. From Webb Street School, Susie Miller. From Woodhill Elementary School, the principal Amy Efert is accepting for Vivian Carabello. And from York Chester Middle School, Brittany Reed. Joining me on stage is Mindy Mamano from Stuart W. Kramer High School, and she was last year's Teacher of the Year. And Mindy, you are ready to help us announce the finalist for Gaston County Teacher of the Year 2018-2019 as we recognize who that lucky person will be. Good evening. Our first finalist is Carmen Adams, Teacher of the Year, Belmont Central. My name is Carmen Adams and I teach third grade at Belmont Central Elementary School and I am a teacher because I love to watch others learn. Heard and one thing that you know about this book. Teaching is not just a job, it's a part of our life. Does it make you want to read it? Okay, well let's see. I want them to know that they mattered and it wasn't just about teaching a standard or curriculum. I want them to know that they had somebody that cared about them, that truly loved them and wanted to see them grow as learners, but lifelong learners as well. Carmen Adams' third grade classroom at Belmont Central is the perfect example of a modern learning environment. Students are involved in hands-on, large group discussions, receiving direct instruction in a fun and interactive way. These young digital natives are then given the freedom to choose how to maximize their learning while processing the curriculum in their way. Some choose to work in small group teacher-led activities, while others choose to log onto their Chromebooks to dive deeper into the content via flipped and blended instruction. Students know exactly what they are doing, though they all are not doing the same thing. It was amazing to watch these eight and nine year olds exercise complete autonomy in their own learning. The fact that they are in a unique classroom is not lost on her students. One young man, when asked why Miss Adams should be the teacher of the year, said, she always gives us fun stuff to do. I've not been bored one time all year. <laughs> he went on to describe building a town complete with all three branches of government and a courthouse. Another student said, Miss Adams is a good teacher because she works with us, kind of like she's a student while teaching. Her colleagues describe Ms. Adams as unique, caring, organized, and creative. As a grade level chair, she leads professional development, institutes a pay it forward system, and invites other teachers to learn from her. One colleague said, Ms. Adams reaches every student in different ways. She exemplifies the model classroom and strives for perfection in everything she does. She loves her job and she loves her students. We all want to grow up to be just like Carmen Adams. Congratulations, Carmen Adams, Teacher of the Year, Belmont Central Elementary. Our next finalist is Karen Coffey, McCannville Elementary. My name is Karen Coffey and I'm a second grade teacher at McCannville Elementary School. What's different between this one and this one? I am a teacher because I can help them achieve their dreams, their successes. I can help them not only read and write, but how to be successful in life. I knew I was supposed to be a teacher when the light bulb went off for a child and they're like, I got it, Mrs. Coffey, I've got it. And that's when I was like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Colleagues of Karen Coffey of McCaddenville Elementary describe how she doesn't come to work every day, but rather, in her words, she comes to an opportunity. They say they admire her positive attitude and consistent passion for life and desire to learn something new every day, even reaching out to teachers of older students to be sure to prepare her current second graders for what is to come. 
Her classroom is one of perpetual motion, where kids can be seen enthusiastically collaborating to determine the largest needs of, say, a community. Students implement skills she has taught them as a pinnacle leader, creating informative videos and sharing these with one another to receive feedback for their own personal growth. Students love that she allows them to get their wiggles out by sitting on bouncy balls, and they love even more that she sits right on the bouncy ball with them. They enjoy her hands-on activities and say, quote, math is fun in Miss Coffey's class because she makes me good at it. Colleagues describe her as dedicated, caring, inquisitive, creative, and passionate. Where she sees a need, she fills it. For example, she observed that students at her school were excited about coding, so she developed the Coding Club, one of the school's only academic clubs. She's spoken of as the perfect team member. One colleague said, some people have that perfect recipe, but they just won't share it with you. Karen not only shares, but she seeks other recipes to help her grow her own self as an educator. Congratulations, Karen Coffey, Teacher of the Year, McCaddenville Elementary. Our next finalist is Lori Collins, Highland School of Technology. My name is Lori Collins. I teach math at Highland School of Technology. Give me a mile. I need it in feet. And so they gave you the... I teach because I love to see children grow. I enjoy watching them become more confident as the semester passes. That's where you're learning. On the side? Yep. Teaching is a passion. You have to love it. And once you get into that classroom, if you're supposed to be there, you will love it. You're exactly right. And you will become a better person because you are a teacher. Lori Collins, Math 1 student at Highland School of Technology, enjoy math, a statement many of them are surprised to hear themselves saying out loud. But Ms. Collins, Collins is no ordinary high school math teacher. Her class is always interactive and always relevant. Students told us they never know what exactly they'll be doing, but they always know it will be fun and interesting, as well as a way to show that math is everywhere. Like when students use data from the Gaston County Census to plot population and predict whose town will see the most growth by 2020. One student, as he created his graph, stated, yeah, this is normal, we're always engaged in something. We never get to just sit and listen. Another chimed in, it's never boring. Ms. Collins is always fun and enthusiastic. I look forward to this class even though, and don't tell her, I don't really like math. <laughs> <laughs> Colleagues marvel at how she seems to do it all, even while raising her own family. She can always be seen tutoring before and after school, often on a bench in the hallway before class starts. She serves as a department chair, pinnacle leader, sit team, co-chair of the social committee, and heads up the school's beta club, which provides month monthly service projects within Gaston County. And she's the director of Commissioner School, developing rising sophomores into leaders during the first two weeks of the summer vacation. But colleagues say even more importantly, she supports her students outside the classroom as athletes and community members by attending events from games to concerts. One coworker said, Lori's test scores are always so high because she teaches her students, not just math, but life. She's a role model to, role model to us all. She meets the needs of all her students, regardless of level, and she connects with them in a way that shows she cares for them, so they perform. Congratulations, Lori Collins, Teacher of the Year, Highland School of Technology. Our next finalist is Tammy Holland, Robinson Elementary. My name is Tammy Stevens Holland, and I teach fifth grade at Robinson Elementary. As an educator, I feel like that I'm not changing the shell, but I'm changing what's on the inside. There is such an incredible feeling when you see that moment and a child really, really understands what you've spent maybe months explaining and knowing that because you didn't quit, they didn't quit, and now they get it. Green screens, makerspace, collaboration, skydiving, and manatees. These are just a few things you will experience in the classroom of fifth grade teacher Tammy Holland. Colleagues use words such as exceptional, motivational, dedicated, and awesome to paint the picture of Ms. Holland. At Robinson Elementary, she has transformed the learning environment, taking a lead role in the implementation of project-based learning. Fellow teachers and students alike describe how she goes above and beyond in her teaching, spending her summer creating a one-of-a-kind makerspace for her students and school. 
I love that I have her as a fifth grade teacher, told one student. We get to do cool things. We don't have to visualize it. We can actually do it. Ms. Holland creates unforgettable lessons for her students in whatever way she can imagine. For example, while learning about air and matter, she brought in a video of, her, of, her own, of herself skydiving. And to boost the lesson on water, it was a video of her swimming with manatees. One student told me, I'll always remember those lessons because I'll always be able to see her in those videos in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Holland is further described as a constant support system to her students, their parents, and her colleagues. She has led seminars as part of a parent academy, helps coach girls on the run, and is a pinnacle leader. She teaches from the heart, serving as an unofficial mentor to multiple teachers and as a mother figure to multiple students. One colleague sums it up with, she cares. She cares about her students, she cares about her school. She's always willing to help everyone. Kids respect her and teachers follow her lead. I wish there were more teachers like Ms. Holland. Congratulations, Tammy Holland, Teacher of the Year, Robinson Elementary School. Our fifth and final finalist is Brittany Reed, Yorkchester Middle School. My name is Brittany Reed. I teach seventh and eighth grade science at Yorkchester Middle School. I am a teacher because I hope to influence the decision of my students long past the time when they leave my classroom. And I establish with my students that we're a family. They're appreciated, they're valued, they're loved that I care about them as a person, as an individual, and that I'm there for them, not just when my class ends, but all throughout life. So what do you do? I leave here feeling like, hey, you know, I gave it all I had, and tomorrow I'm going to do even better. Brittany Reed's seventh grade classroom at Yorkchester Middle School is inviting and relaxing. Lights are low, with natural sunlight and lamps providing the only needed light. A large fish tank cared for by the students also projects a glow along the back wall. Also, the walls are decorated with inspirational sayings, some funny, some thought-provoking, as well as personal touches, allowing the students to relate to their teacher. Lessons are often taught using an array of strategies. Students travel throughout the room, visiting a variety of stations, all highlighting different parts of the curriculum in unique ways. Videos, primary resources, interactive websites, and all allowing students to process what they've learned in unique ways by drawing, by writing, by competing with one another. Students share their favorite things about being in her class with us, including her approach to teaching. One says, I like the way she makes me think about what I'm learning. This isn't just her job, she really cares about us. She even checks up on us when we're out sick. Another said, she works hard to teach us. She helps us to be better people, not just better students. Her colleagues say she does it all, whatever it takes to bring the best experience to her students. She applies to donor's choice, brings in outside guest speakers, volunteers every chance she has. She set up a recycling program, a gardening program, and she tutors students who aren't even in her class. In addition, Ms. Reed aspires to bring learning outside the classroom. She takes students to space camp, heads up Jason's program, and offers hydrosphere classes. One colleague said, she's just what every teacher should be. That's it. Congratulations, Brittany Reed, Teacher of the Year, Yorkchester Middle School. And now for the announcement of the Gaston County Teacher of the Year for 2018-2019. To make the presentation from Wells Fargo Bank, please welcome Pamela Gaff. Good evening. I get the privilege of being up here today as a legacy of some of the people here in this room. Ms. Ramsey, who taught me sixth grade at Lowell Elementary. Mr. Clinton, who was a PE teacher at Holbrook High School. Mr. Andrew Collins, who taught me eighth grade history, walking down a table in the middle of the room. <laughs> and my very dear friend, Mrs. Holland, who I got to enjoy the pleasure of seeing, have a second career as a teacher. And it's a privilege to know you all. Thank you. In an effort to recognize outstanding educators and to show support for public education, Wells Fargo is a proud sponsor of the Teacher of the Year Award in Gaston County. Each year we are pleased to have the opportunity to highlight achievements of Gaston County teachers and to name one individual the Teacher of the Year. This year's Teacher of the Year creates a learning environment that is relevant, student-centered, and empowering. 
Through differentiated instruction and problem-based learning, this teacher strives to meet the academic needs of every student on a daily basis. The teacher of the year is open to new ideas, trying new strategies, and to facilitate learning the students choose and embrace. The teacher strives to help students take ownership of their learning. As a school leader, this teacher goes above and beyond to serve students, the school, and the educational community by sharing ideas and resources with others. The Teacher of the Year is a lifelong learner who strives to obtain knowledge and gain a better understanding of the current trend in education in order to better meet the needs of their students. She sets high expectations of self, students, and peers and stresses the importance of citizenship and contributing to the future of our society. This year's Teacher of the Year serves as a role model for all educators, demonstrating professionalism and a passion for education. It is with great pleasure that I announce the Gaston County Schools Teacher of the Year for 2018-2019 school year, Ms. Carmen Adams. so much. Um, it will be an honor to serve as Gaston County's Teacher of the Year. It's been a fun experience with the other top five um, members and it's just been an experience that I will forever remember. I was actually raised right here in Gaston County and I'm a proud graduate of Hunter Huss High School. <laughs> and 11 years ago I was actually not in the education field. I was working two full-time jobs while attending school full-time and you know people say that there's just not enough hours in the day but through the grace of God I was able to do all of those things while raising my daughter Shaylin. However I knew that I had not found my passion yet and my mother she's here with me tonight she is an educator and she said to me well why not try teaching and I don't know about you, but at a young age, when your parents suggest things, <laughs> you tend to go in the opposite direction. But I was given the opportunity by former principal Pamela Williams to be the computer lab specialist at Catawba Heights Elementary, and it forever changed everything for me. It did not take me long to realize that teaching was my passion. And then I had to go back to my parents and let them know that they were right, after all. <laughs> um, but it was worth it. It was. When I was given that opportunity, I had no idea what I would encounter as an educator. And I will be forever grateful. My parents were my first educators. And just the things that they instilled in me, the grit they instilled in me to achieve great things, that's something that I share with my students every day. And the thought of missing out on my passion, that scares me. That, that's something that I could have done. I would have missed out on greeting 22 students every day. I would have missed out on being a pinnacle leader. I would have missed out on being a TIPS committee member and watching first year teachers grow. I would have missed out on my weekly updates on skunks by a student I have right now who tells me facts every <laughs> chance that he gets. Um, but I would have missed out on teaching students how to code and teaching an all girls robotics team how to code and create an app for Holy Angels residents. So I'm thankful that I found my passion and that I'm able to do that each and every day because I know that others are not always as fortunate as I am to be able to be in their passion. I'm thankful for Mr. Booker, for Dr. Bach Knight. I'm not sure where she is, but I know she's here. Um, she was a professor of mine at Belmont Abbey College in education, um, to human resources, to the students and staff and parents of Catawba Heights Elementary and Belmont Central Elementary. And I'm also grateful for my grandfather, who is no longer with us, but he was a preacher and he would say different sermons within his preaching and he always said 
let the work I've done speak for me. And I hope that I'm able to do that every day in my classroom. Thank you. Congratulations to Carmen Adams, our Wells Fargo Gaston County Teacher of the Year for 2018-2019, and she will go on to represent Gaston County in the regional competition, uh, and hopefully we'll have a regional Teacher of the Year. And Carmen, we hope maybe this is your first step, and then you can go to the next step, and the next step, Bobby, you know about steps, and hopefully we could take you all the way to the top. Congratulations to you. And at this time, Mr. Booker, for our closing remarks. You know, tonight is a great night. We talk about the great events, opening of school, last day when it bus, last bus parks. Of course, graduation and seeing kids go across the stage is a phenomenal thing. But tonight is where we get to pause, which we don't do enough, and thank one another for what we do. To all the teachers recognized tonight, you represent over 2,000 people that are serving our community every day. Thank you for what you do. And as every one of you know, you represent them tonight. And this thank you goes across to all of our teachers. But you're all winners. There could only be so many finalists. And to the finalists, one had to be chosen from those finalists. But you all contribute and do great things. Anytime I get to be in a classroom, I'm in awe. And Ms. Dixon knows when I'm having a tough time because I walk into her office and I say, I just want to go watch kids learn. And she says, just pick a class. I got confidence you're going to see it wherever you go in my school. And I know that's what goes on in all 55 of our schools. It is an honor to be a part of that. And you know, when I think about what you all do, our administrators, our teachers, and the leadership. I'm always reminded, and I've said this to you all many times, of what George Bernard Shaw said. People who say it cannot be done should not interrupt those who are doing it. You do great things. I don't really care what they grade they want to give us. As I've said, any hurdle they put in front of you, you overcome and you clear it with great margin between the bar and where you leap. Thank you for what you do for children. Wells Fargo, thank you for allowing these people to be recipients of true honor. Your words about coming from an educator family, you, you could feel your sincerity in that. You know what these folks are giving every day. So to anyone that watches this, this broadcast at a later date, we are lucky in this community. 4,000 people serving. So I thank you all for being with us tonight, and I thank you for what you do. Walk out of here proudly, knowing that this community is a better community for what you do. Please be safe getting home. God bless you all. <laughs>